always knew I wanted to be an artist. In fact, when I was six years old, I wrote on my school application that I wanted to be an artist, a dancer, and a scientist. <laughs> Growing up in Los Angeles, whenever we'd go camping or escape out into nature, being able to escape the big city and be out in the natural world and be surrounded by mountains and fresh air and hearing the, the wind rushing through the trees, all that had a big effect on me as a kid. And so I always knew I wanted to be a landscape painter. Ready? That's a D, yeah. Sounds good. Okay, good. Here we go. I grew up in a musical home. My parents are both professional musicians, and they taught me that practice makes perfect. <laughs> if you want to learn to become an oil painter, you have to paint a lot. Not just one painting here or there, but painting every single day. So I did endless life drawings growing up. When I was 12, I started working in a mural studio and we painted huge paintings, 40 feet tall, 80 feet long, and I was always up there on a scaffold painting trees and was told that it was too hard to make a living as an artist and I should become a doctor or a scientist. I did get my degree in bioengineering and when I graduated, just decided I didn't want to be in a laboratory the rest of my life and I love the outdoors. I moved to Las Vegas and I started rock climbing at Red Rock Canyon, which is beautiful, deep red, orange, pink, saturated rocks, and decided to start doing a painting a week just to see where my art would take me and to really develop a technique to paint this landscape that I really loved. And one year later, I had about 50 paintings and I did an outdoor art festival just for kicks to see what would happen. And I sold six paintings and the light bulb went off. And I realized I can make a living as an artist. I decided I was an impressionist because I love to capture light. And the goal of my paintings is to capture the beauty of light, especially those fleeting moments during the golden hours, first thing in the morning, those last golden rays of sun as the sun sets. I call it open impressionism because it's a more open approach to impressionism. I pre-mix my entire palette from only five colors. So I have to plan out every single color that's gonna be on the painting in advance before I ever pick up a brush. And instead of using thin overlapping brush strokes, I use a wide brush and I work quickly in a wet on wet approach to my paintings. And I try not to overlap my brush strokes. And you can see the underpainting peeking through between the brush strokes, which definitely gives it a stained glass mosaic kind of look. People want to surround themselves with beauty and be inspired by what's hanging on their walls. People connect with her work because of the emotional impact her art gives them. You know, it, it is a feeling that they get because it reminds them of how they feel when they're outside. Thanksgiving has always been one of my favorite holidays. From a very early age, I remember helping my mom prepare the turkey, make the cranberry sauce, make the potatoes, <laughs> and we make it this whole two-day extravaganza of cooking that ends in the finale of the whole family being together and enjoying a beautiful meal. I'm so honored that my painting was chosen to go on this Thanksgiving card. Just the thought of hundreds of thousands of families opening up this Thanksgiving card and seeing my painting on the front. I hope it gives them a feeling of joy and reminds them of all their happy memories of being outside under the maple trees, enjoying the fall color. I'm Erin Hansen, and I'm Amika's 2022 Thanksgiving artist. <laughs>